it's Wendy again with another massive pile of books. Sorry, not sorry at all. I don't know why I say it. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, the, to this pile is in the main a pile from uh, Book Excess. So I really wanted one of these books in particular, though I obviously want them all. Um, but I could not find it anywhere, anywhere, unless I wanted it in Spanish. And I didn't particularly want it in Spanish. So, yeah, I made an order from Book Excess in Malaysia. Um, that obviously is, is Anne's from Pretty Pages' uh, shop. She can just go in and have a nosy. It looks like a great shop. I'm very jealous, Anne. Um, but, yeah, I did want a couple of books that I'd seen. So I did an order. And the books on the website, I'll, I'll try and link it below, were so cheap it was unbelievable two pounds one pound fifty but obviously i don't live in malaysia and they've had to come a long way so the postage sadly was not cheap so it didn't make it much cheaper to get these items but as i hadn't seen a good chunk of them anywhere else of late um and as i'm a bit late to the coloring world a lot of these are very difficult to get here in the uk now and i obviously i wanted to so i should slide it over try and give myself some room um, and obviously on the top were a great big chunk of these now these were really cheap on their website um, and they weren't books that i owned any of them of at all again I'm not, i'll try and um show you these but obviously they fold quite quite far out so i've got a few of these but this obviously is tom slav tomic's walk through paris and they all are pretty much the same format i'm sure you've seen them but they have these sheets that fold out into a great big long um drawing so um these just interested me i think mainly because I've, I've been to paris and been to these places so um it it just interested me to have them obviously these are victorian times in the way that it's been drawn but the the image is still interested in me and obviously this does just fold out into a very long i'm not going to do it because you want me to see it anyway there are some nice little bits on the back you can practice your drawing with a grid there's some information on the back about the places that are in it and i, I just think they're really nice little books and again pretty pretty easy to pick up and take then i've got sean tan's metropolis again these i've just because they were cheap i've literally just chucked them in and thought i'll you know what i'll just sit, have a surprise and see what they're like and i really quite like this one um it kind of feels like a mixture of space monsters it's just a really interesting drawing style um and i think this one again has bits on the back i can flip through to kind of give you an idea of the artist flavor so yeah sean tan's metropolis then i've got uh, new york uh, i did quite a while ago take um the kids at school to a trip on new york so again i've got quite nice memories of, of it was hard work <laughs> i'm not gonna taking teenagers anywhere is hard work um but yeah i have good memories of new york and um the trip we took so again it kind of just reminded me of the trip and it's again it's got a little good drawing on the back some information about some of the places um and yeah so new york jazz another one thomas like atomic drawing which is one of the other reasons it was in there this one i just thought looked quite fun so it's a book on traffic again i'll just quickly whiz through it so it's basically a little busy town spaces uh, when you start looking into it quite closely it's quite quite funny in some of the places so yeah it just did i can't turn the page now it did appeal and again you've got another little grid drawing on the back and some more kind of close-up bits in the section but yeah traffic once upon a time this is the other one i'm not i'm not totally sure of the the images are beautiful they really are lovely but look how detailed they are. I, I'm just thinking, will I ever have the patience to try and do something in some of these little spaces? It's absolutely beautiful. It's really, really lovely. Um, but I kind of feel it's it's 
too detailed for this size. This is only kind of A5, these little books. So they're already quite a small book. Um, my eyesight, it's not as good as it used to be. Age is not kind. Don't get old. It does you no favours. Um, they're beautiful images. Like, I just think they are lovely. But I'm half tempted to kind of photocopy these onto something bigger to have a go at some of these pages. And then again, you've got another nice grid drawing and some information about the stories these images represent. I think it's I think it's lovely, but very small, very very small. And then because there was a London one, I had to have it. Obviously, being British, um, it's why is this bloke so big? This again, this book slightly makes me smile. It's got some really silly things in it. Loch Ness monster does not live in the Thames in London. I don't know giant robot i'm looking at you doodle it's, it's a page for you um giant fox again strange but I, again it makes me smile and there's it's, there's nothing better in my mind than a coloring book that i want to color because it cheers you up and it makes you smile and then you keep spotting silly things on it that again makes you smile again um i just think it's it's funny it's a funny little book with some great little drawings. Look, little dog, yes. And then again, you've got, uh, I think it's the Victorian Albert statue there in your grid drawing. You've got some facts about some of the places in London, if you didn't know what they were in there. But again, yeah, Thomas Filton's Stroll in London. Cute, I like it. Uh, and then this one, again, I didn't really know what to expect. Couldn't really see very much of it online. But Wayne Anderson's Enchanted Forest. It's a slightly strange drawing style. I'm guessing it's um, something that you may be using ink or graphite. So it has, it, I'm looking at the camera actually, it looks a bit darker in, on the screen than it is in real life. But the images are so lovely. A little bit strange. It's kind of got like robot -y insects along with fairies and dragonflies and other beautiful things. But then these random strange things intermix beautiful dragons and an owl i love that bird as well just again i really like the drawing style of it i think it's really pretty i don't think it's going to be the easiest coloring <laughs> i don't think it's going to be the easiest coloring page to work on um because you've got this kind of gray uh section and then you've got a little again if you fancy ever go at some doing some drawing and then some more little bits and pieces of what you can see in the drawing but yeah again really cute Wayne Anderson's Enchanted Forest really like it and these were so cheap on there it almost feels criminal to, to pay one pound two pounds for something like that this one again I didn't know a huge amount about it Rosie Goodwood Alice Chadwick uh, Secret London oh, actually I'm going to bring you in a little bit rather than me keep having to lift it sorry move that up a bit um this book doesn't have great paper in it i think that would be my first um thought about it so it has some amazing images particularly if you have any interest in london so you've got oxford street you've got christmasy things liberty lovely store that i can't afford anything in because it's expensive but you've got lots of different um london scenes um, that just again I thought was quite interesting a little bit different I don't know where there's an aquarium there must be one because it wouldn't be in here but I don't know where it is natural history museum characters Tate um, boat race just lots of really interesting London beef eaters London scenes um, but my only worry with this book is the paper is does feel a bit on the thin side um, I noticed as soon as I picked the book up it felt quite flimsy as a book it 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 bent very easy so I was like oh, what's, what's the paper gonna be like but I like some of the images and I think as long as you stay in pencil in it it, it will be fine mine is I don't know if you can tell really in today's light but it does feel a bit faded there is some damage on it but for what I paid for it you know I can't moan at that at all it looks like there are other ones in the series if you were interested in other places as well but Secret London next one I always like a Alice in Wonderland book uh, again couldn't see a huge amount 
um, about this book, but Francesca Rossi, Alice's Little Wonderlands, an entertaining colouring experience. Um, I've got a nice uh, full, full cover with loads of mushrooms inside it. This one does feel like it's slightly better paper than the one I just had. Much more substantial book. And I really like some of the drawing on this. There is quite a bit of fading at the top. I can live with it. Once I've coloured it, who's going to know that there's fading at the top? No one. Um, but there's some really quite nice drawings in here. I don't like quite a lot of the Alice books that you seem to come across. They're not kind of overly busy. Like there's still quite a bit going on there, but it's still fairly bold imagery and it kind of feels a bit more um, less terrifying to have a go at really. So I, I really quite like this book. Again, it's got its issues because it's um, obviously an old book that's been hanging around for quite a while in various different places. I really like this page. Just, yeah, really quite like the idea of colouring in some of these. Cute. Um, dogs, always going to be happy. But dandelions. Lovely mushrooms. But there's just loads of really nice characters and um, really interesting little pages in it. I won't go through it all because otherwise I'm going to take all day. But I'll quickly flip you through a few more so you get a gist of it. Again, I've not looked this one up since I ordered it, like that page of the teapot. I've not looked this up since I ordered it, so I don't know how easy it is to find in the UK now. Um, obviously I bought it because I was ordering from there anyway. But Alice's Little Wonderlands, illustrations by Francesca Rossa. Um, yeah, I really, I really like it. And then this next book I had in my wish list on Amazon um, a couple of months before Christmas with every intention of getting it and then it seems to have vanished off there and I can't find it for love nor money now. So I was really pleased when I spotted this one um as well the only thing you'll see okay, you can see here it's kind of feels like it's been eaten by a machine or something it's got two kind of really bad marks like it's been stuck in some roller and then it's got some more indentations oh yeah you can just about see there on that and it's the same a little bit on the back as well so it does have a bit of cover damage but i don't care because it was a book that i wanted it does have um a proper uh jacket on it i know some people don't love keeping the jackets on but it has little small versions of the um, images inside and it's basically she's describing it as different planets but it's different um places really so she's got forests some of them are proper scenes some of them are objects some of them are mandalary type things but again i just i quite like the illustration style <laughs> that is just so cute um yeah it just it doesn't feel too difficult to work in and i quite like the different bits and pieces that are on them it just yeah it just interests me so you've got interest i can't talk today i've got c i'm gonna keep going even though i can't talk sorry <laughs> we've got snow i'll open it from the back because it's easier to flip through quicker from the back there's these beautiful animal letters at the back. I think this one's home or something at the at the back, but you have her and then you have a little kind of acetate that you can put the crown on her or you can have it the other way and the um, turkey can have the crown. I don't know. <laughs> Once you've coloured it, up to you which way you want to view it. But yeah, I think this is, oh yeah, girl's room, not home. Then you have, um, say, a couple of mandalas magic was that one i think this is food or sweet things or something like that this one sweet things yeah um flowers and or nature flowers and then i think this is winter but yeah i think it's a really lovely book i'm really pleased to have got hold of a copy after i thought i'd lost it um paper in it is it's okay it's um it's reasonably thick and it does have a little bit of tooth i think it'll be okay with pencils definitely uh, i'm not sure i'll get away with much watercolor in it and then this was probably a bit of a mistake really i, I saw they had the artist edition of enchanted forest so i thought oh, I, I do like 
the artist and musicians because obviously they're they're normally on card, aren't they? Um, <laughs> but it's dry basswood and leaves. <laughs> if it had been the C one, probably would have been a better buy for me. But um, but it's not. It's the leaves one. So some of these I really like. I, I really like the dragonfly. I quite like this one. And some of them, yeah, the, all the little animals. I think is really nice. And obviously because it's a bit bigger and it's on this super thick card um i thought that would be really nice as well um <laughs> the ice cream man's arrived outside my house and my dog is not enjoying the ice cream man's presence and you might be able to hear her howling sorry in advance um but yeah so i've got this one as well um some of them i i really like some of them see i really like this image in the actual book but every time I look at it, I think, oh, there's so many little things. I don't know if I'll ever have the patience to do some of them. But obviously this on the artist's heavy card is a great image. So some of them I'm really pleased because you've got much bigger images on much better surfaces that you really can do some things. But again, the skull, will I ever do it? I'm not sure. Some of it's just too many leaves sometimes for me. I love, I love a lot of her work, but a million tiny leaves is not a book I would be buying. But <laughs> the Enchanted, again, it was it was cheap. It really doesn't matter if I only do half the book. And then I've got two left in this book. So we'll do this back one first. This was what I actually wanted, but we'll come back to it in a minute. So I bought this. I don't think I read it. Clearly, I didn't read it. I, I thought it was another of the little books that I just showed you at the beginning. But obviously it isn't. This is print posters to collect and colour. So Owen Davies travel log. I might need to go back up again for this because it is a bit of a whopper, this book. There we go. Move the other one out of the way a bit. And we'll go I'll stay in the middle there. So again, it's the same kind of layout as um, the other Pictora small ones that I was looking at. But you've got this beautiful, it's all embossed. Again, it is a bit damaged, but I'm not bothered. Um, and then each of the sheets go through different places. So I think this is Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. I can't speak again. Um, and then we've got a bit of Japan. <laughs> Robot. Robot. Obviously London. St Paul's. The Eye. Westminster Bridge. Shard, is that? Yeah, in the corner. And then I think that's Rome. A bit of Australia. Barcelona. And a bit of uh, Gaudi's Sagrada. And oh, one of his lizards as well from um, Parkway. Uh, I think it's Turkey. And then China. A bit of Paris. Germany, some more New York, can't spin the page, and then finally a bit of Russia back. So these again, these are um, perforated so you can take them out. They're really chunky, really thick card, it's really heavy. My corners are a little bit dinged in this one but it does again it doesn't really bother me but i could chop the corners off if i needed to in this but again i thought it was really again it was so i think these were like two pounds or something it's such a lovely book um really pleased again nice it was a nice surprise really and then as you know quite a few colorists have got this one already um the vertical worlds by abby dacre I just thought this was really lovely book. Um, I could see we could get a Spanish one in the UK on Amazon, but I couldn't see this British one in all the usual places that you can try and pick them up, book depository, etc. Um, eBay even couldn't see it on there, but yeah, just happened when I was trying to search for it that it popped up that uh, this place had it. Um, so this was the reason I <laughs> made an order at all really because i just wanted this book i thought the only downside i think with it is they are very very 
small. It, I'm definitely going to have to put my glasses on to work in this book. Otherwise, I'm going to go out the lines. <laughs> and then I'm going to annoy myself when I can see better again in the morning. Um, but yeah, this is just some lovely, lovely pages that I really want to do. Um, that really appeal. I really like this one. There's, there's quite a few, though. Many lines, but it is beautiful. Um, just, yeah, just something about it. The trains are quite fancy. The train station. Zoo. <laughs> Botanical gardens. Vertical city. I, I really like this one. But yeah, there's loads of, again, there's loads of flips of it. I won't go on for ages. But yeah, this was a reason I did my um, order from them so I could get this. And I was thinking it would be damaged because obviously they're a you know, book excess. Uh, but it's, it's pretty much perfect, really. There's a little bit of dinging on the cover, but certainly nothing too bad. Um, so, yeah, this is my last little book from my book um, hoard. <laughs> Hall, not sure which you'd call it. But, yeah, let, which did you like? Which ones have interested you? Let me know which is your favourite. I uh, hope you're enjoying your colouring. Bye-bye.